So the Mustang, Marie, what Mustang would you get? Would you get the four cylinder 2.3 liter or would you be all 5.8 big old growling motor? <sighs> and it's a, shouldn't say big old, brand new, <laughs> highly engineered V8. You know me, I don't know well the motors. I always let you pick because you said, oh no, this one is not that powerful. I need more. So it's always you, the, the pro of the motors. <laughs> I, I always just check the look, I guess. Fair enough. Well, folks, I can say that my, the 2.3 liter in a Mustang gets my stamp of approval. Our red Mustang, you remember back when I had a red Mustang mm -hmm. convertible in 20, as a 2016 model? The 2.3 liter was great. We loved it. And now it's making 315 horsepower and 350 pound feet of torque. So that's pretty beastly. Like if we go outside of Ford, forget that the Mustang has an available V8. That's incredible. Shop other brands. That is incredible power. Ford is giving us a steal of a deal on the 2.3 liter, starting at 30,920. You've got the EcoBoost Premium Fastback starting at 36,445. And if I wasn't going convertible and I was going with the 2.3 liter, I would go with the Premium. The reason I'd go with the Premium, don't get me wrong here, standard, it comes great. It has a 13.2 inch touch screen it also has a digital cluster so that's behind the steering wheel you've got a 12.4 lcd digital cluster in the base model ford wow you're giving us a deal here and you have an upgraded 10 speed select shift automatic transmission upgraded from what i don't know um but that's what the site is saying up here behind all my hair or what's you know what's what hair i have so <laughs> available active valve performance exhaust with quad tips and remote rev is definitely something that i would get uh we love the active valve exhaust in the vehicle i can turn it up and if we were to come back late at night after a date night which we must be due it's been a couple of years um but uh <laughs> But that's great. You can put that active exhaust in silent mode as well. So you also get track apps on the base model. However, I would get the premium because you've got approach detect. You've got um, approach detection with welcome farewell exterior lighting. That means like our Mustang, you arrive and you get the pony on the ground. So I'd go premium. Not just because you get a little fancy pony cool on the ground when you approach the vehicle. That is very cool. It's approach detection with welcome, farewell, exterior lighting. Now that's not saying it's the pony. It could just be all the lights, all the LED lights lighting up. But I really hope for it, it's gonna be the pony. Pony on the light that comes from the side mirrors projected onto the ground. So what I think is great also about the premium is you do have the available Bang & Olufsen sound system which in the four cylinder, you're not gonna be listening to the exhaust all day. So I would definitely get that. But the 2.3 liter with active exhaust, when you put it sort of like in track mode, it does sound really good. Um, and actually someone at work has a Focus RS this color and his Focus RS with a, you know, he's got that active exhaust, I'm sure, because when he drives away, it's got a pretty good sound. Compared to other manufacturers, the sound is pretty darn good so you know don't get fooled it's easy to go to the premium model first and say oh that's how i get the immersive 13.2 inch touchscreen they repeat stuff in the little description here that was on the base model so don't be fooled folks always study your base models they may very well not only fit your budget but also fit everything that you're looking for that's the big don't be fooled However, I'd go premium for the heated and cooled seats. I've got a bad back. I need heated seats. I also have a bad back because even, uh, well, Blue Cruise again in the Lightning decided to start breaking. It got really mad at me. It had been beeping, telling me my eyes weren't open again. And I'm like, my eyes are open. I was kind of yelling at the car. So I was <laughs> obviously not asleep. And it went from 120 to 115 kilometers per hour, not miles per hour, folks. And with that braking, it really shook me and I had a, a sore, a quite, a rather sore back all day long. And I was worried. I'm like, do I have kind of whiplash in my lower back? That wow. braking was intense because it's currently probably programmed to brake, not taking into consideration that my one pedal is on. And I also have electric motor braking. So it makes for intense braking. 
and I'm really not a fan. I thought everything was worked out with the Blue Cruise with the new upgrade, but it looks like, in my opinion, we need a new program for the Blue Cruise um, because it's breaking when it shouldn't because it thought I wasn't looking at the road. And even if I'm not looking at the road, I was, but it's Blue Cruise drive anyways i'm pretty mad at the lightning right now and i kind of want to sell it but it's such an amazing car performance vehicle i just have to not for me i'm not going to use the blue cruise i think until i see another program update very frustrated but i definitely not a technology i would pay a ton for again unless it gets fixed up that's my rant for the day. I'm sure, you know, you guys can tell me I'm wrong. I know a lot of you have Blue Cruise and a lot of you have told me that your Blue Cruise works perfectly. So maybe, you know, this these are my eyes in the morning. So I have puffy eyes in the morning. So I think <laughs> the lightning close. hates eyes that aren't mm -hmm. open very much. So I think the lightning has a problem with that. I think it thinks my eyes are closed because I just have small, not open eyes. And I deliberately try to open up my eyes as much as possible for these videos. So reason why I would get obviously the premium is I love the Activix. So down here, you read the little description, the Activix, Activix <laughs> interior is just like what you get in the Mach E Mustang. And it's a fantastic interior. It feels great to sit on. And from touching my lightning, I must be what's in our lightning. I don't remember. It doesn't feel like leather. It definitely feels like Activix. And I actually prefer the feeling of Activix over leather. I never thought I'd say that. But yeah. uh, <laughs> you also get. I'm surprised too. You also, with the premium, you get ambient lighting with my color. So when you're doing these building prices, whatever model you pick, you know, you can kick it up to the GT. Now the GT, very interesting, five liter V8 has 480 horsepower now. So that's gone up. We were at 450 horsepower this year, 460 horsepower, depending on what journal uh, you follow. But from Ford, 450 horsepower, now kicked up to 480 horsepower and 415 pound feet of torque. And I'd say almost, don't be fooled on the next point I'm gonna make, Car and Driver says that the Dark Horse has 500 horsepower. It absolutely does. But they say it has a different crankshaft. That's true. But they say forge p uh, pistons and connecting rods. So let's see their exact wording here. So their exact wording on the Dark Horse benefits from a different crankshaft and forged piston connecting rods. So they must mean forged pistons and connecting rods, but forged. I funny, I kind of was like, hey, doesn't didn't our 2.7 liter Bronco have forged pistons and connecting rods? Hmm. So I went over and looked at the specs from Ford, and funny enough, I've read through them all, and at least on this spec sheet and other places that I've looked not getting any information about the pistons connecting rod and crankshaft which i normally would so i'm gonna i'm gonna go out on a limb here and i think the five liter uh, is gonna have uh, forged pistons anyways so anyways just a side note to our building price i need to look into that more i wouldn't buy the dark horse just based on you know forged is a pretty big and important word for anyone who likes performance especially if you go back to the 70s something needed to be forged to be able to take power and if the dark horse is the only one you know with forged pistons forged connecting rods well that's great because likely you'll be able to handle a whole lot of upgrades but i think the regular five liter is going to have that now of course with us we're convertible people so let's i was going to say let's build a convertible but right now we can't build a convertible. So let's oh. build a hardback. So uh, a fastback, a hard top, <laughs> or just combine the two words and call it a, a hardback. Why not? <laughs> so GT premium fat fastback. I would go with the GT and I would go with premium because I want the heated, the cooled seats. I want the Activix. Now the GT, you can always check if you're wondering, oh, what's gonna come on that GT Premium versus Fastback. Just click view details. So click view details on premium right here. And it gives you a good list. And 
I've always liked the premium models. I like the selectable drive modes here. Always make sure that they're not just repeating stuff from the model before, because you don't want to get kicked up into a higher level, a higher trim, because you think that what you want is only on that trim. So always take the time to click on the little arrow here to go back and read again what the vehicle comes with. So we go over, I would take, take start your build. Marie, let me know what you think of the colors. We've got what's called yellow splash metallic. Yeah, it's like yellow, but with a, like a silver touch. So That's you, special. Yeah, you love the orange of the, the Bronco, Bronco, which is actually yellow. It's school bus yellow. Yeah. Park it beside a school bus, same color and it looks amazing. You've got carbonized gray metallic. You can currently see that on any lot at Ford because pretty much every lot is gonna have an F-150 this color. Vapor blue metallic, oh, which I that's love. That's beautiful. You love it? I guess that's my favorite for now. Oh no, I think they might have a purple. Dark matter gray metallic. So our current Mustang is dark matter gray. You like it? You prefer the blue? The black, I prefer the color. I'm more a color. Okay, okay so I, I, I bought my Mustang <laughs> wrong, my current Mustang, that's fine. I'm not cool, no, it's whatever. Not, it's not the black, it's gray. You I love grabber that. blue. Yeah. You've got the, I think it was that the 1970 pops. Mach 1 that came in that color. Really pops. Atlas blue metallic, you can see that in any F-150 yard. The blue, the, this uh, grabber blue, you might see on a Mach E at a dealer lot. We've got race red, you'll see that on any F-150. So you can go check out that color at your local dealer. Iconic silver, Oxford white, and shadow black. Now, vinyl racing stripes, that's a thing of preference. Marie and I have often gone back and forth on whether we want stripes or not. The website currently will not load those stripes. Clearly, we'll need to do in a couple weeks another build in price. If you want to know about the five liter, what's cool, you're on the website. It says five liter right here, the, the I. Click on an I and you get information on it. So here, even though Car and Driver told me that I'd get 480 horsepower, Ford is telling us 480. 50 horsepower. So it is important to it's great reading journals. I love car and driver, but right from the source, the manufacturer, that's always the best place for your information. You've got 400 pound feet of tire squealing torque, but it's slightly less tire squealing torque than what you got on a 21. And they are, they are mentioning port fu fuel direct injection. So two injection systems for long-term durability, but also efficiency. So that's fantastic. Also, all Mustangs come with electronic power assisted steering and you've got the selectable modes. I love selectable modes because when I drive, I like to be in normal. I get a bit of steering stiffness, but if I'm on a really nice road, our roads are generally horrible, put it in comfort mode. I don't have the bumps jar me left and right. Normal mode, if the roads are okay, and if the roads are great, sport mode. But if I were, let's say Mustangs only came in one steering mode, and that mode was sport, we would not own a Mustang. We would hate the Mustang in sport mode. When we drive in sport mode it's for the shaky. steering, <laughs> you hit a bump and the vehicle darts off because when you hit a bump, naturally you move a little and your hand moving right just takes the car off. It's way too direct steering. Yeah, and sometimes it's much. the bump that correct your steering for you. So it goes like that. You need to to um, hold in our order to make sure you continue straight. Yeah. So are you ready to lose a couple hundred subscribers? Oh, what will you say? <laughs> What's how's that song go? You used to watch the OC, and it had like a ooh, what you say. <laughs> You want to sing it? You want to give no, us a little song tonight? I don't want to sing tonight. You sure? Come on. You're, Just say I love why your singing. people will be mad at okay, you. Okay, <laughs> people are going to be mad at me because I don't like the G-Track. -G so the manual on this is okay. But if I'm spending Mustang GT money, especially now with the price increases, I want an amazing transmission. And this for me is not an amazing transmission if you're going to drive it hard. Um, even my father, he, my pa, he had a manual and he couldn't get drive it in a manner that didn't have it shake. And um, his wife's name is Denise. And we kind of used to joke around, you know, 
shake a, sh- shake a Denise, like the ACDC song. <laughs> and because he would shake her up in his Mustang, he couldn't get that transmission to be smooth for him. And for me, if I was driving fast and hard, sometimes I try to get into three and it would kind of bounce me back out. Anyways, I love the Tremec. So anytime Ford can offer a Tremec, like for example, on the current Mach 1, the Tremec is, in my opinion, probably the best manual transmission on the market. So while we have a transmission I'm not a big fan of, I don't hate it, but I don't love it, I'd say it's okay. The Tremec, in my opinion, is the best manual transmission on the market. It is satisfying to drive. It's fun just listening to it as you go through the gears. If you want to see it, I made a video, a review on the Mustang Mach 1 last year. And oh my goodness, that transmission is incredible. But another transmission that's incredible is the 10 speed. Now our 2018 Mustang GT convertible, our 10 speed sometimes when it would go into third would kind of accelerate a bit forward more than it should. And sometimes kind of felt like it was clunking a little bit into gear, certain gears, mostly when the transmission was cold. Now I know I could have that transmission reprogrammed and it would have, I've seen a lot of people, their 10 speed in their F-150s from 2018, 2019, get resolved very few 2020s uh, i'm not seeing issues with 22s and 23s but my 22 mustang transmission i love it the 10 speed is incredible it shifts faster than any human being ever will no human with a manual transmission is going to be beating out this 10 speed so the 10 speed is incredible so i would definitely get the 10 speed all over again you have the paddle shift, so you can still have a bit of a feel of manual. Some days I do miss a bit of the manual, but that's what a second summer car is for. And that's why we, well, we have the MR2 because I met you. We became friends when I had the Toyota MR2, so I had to have that car. <laughs> the things I, I say to, <laughs> to be allowed to buy an extra vehicle. Marie doesn't like the car one bit. No. Now, the doesn't G- have her bags. <laughs> the G- I'm afraid. I think the GT Premium is fantastic. Do I feel like I'd have to get the the 401 package, the hot premium high package? I don't know if I'd have to get high. B&O sound system by Bang & Olufsen. Okay, that's worth at least, you know, in my mind, that's and worth at least, much, huh? yeah, I like, I like good music. So, and you like good music. That's probably worth about $1,500 for us. You've got the illuminated door sill scuff plates. Yeah, we like those. We have them on our current Mustang. We currently have a premium 401, the high package on our convertible security package. Ford Copilot 360 Assist. We have that. I'm not a fan of the adaptive cruise control. It, it just breaks a little too early sometimes. And it occasionally in corners thinks that the car at a sort of in front of me, but in the other lane. So let's say I'm here and they're there. Sometimes in the corner going right, it'll see it and think, oh, there's a car in front and it'll break. I don't like it when a vehicle breaks on me in a corner. I don't feel safe. It makes me mad and I do not want to be mad at my vehicles. My vehicles are my best friends, so. Stop other than you trying blue cruise just drive yourself well, you'll, that's be not the, good. You'll, you'll be happier but that marie that's not even blue cruise that's just the oh, adaptive cruise control so i i'd like just to just have regular cruise anyway. control <laughs> on my premium so yes i'd get premium especially if ford could give me a little rebate for saying hey don't put the extra microchips and sensors for adaptive cruise control but give me the rest that's my tip. It's not an, uh, an option right now. And memory seats are great because when Marie moves my stuff around, we can just, uh, you know, we've agreed to not move the mirror other than down, no left, right. So when uh, Marie drives my Mustang a lot. Uh, so I just hit my one, I put the mirror, I just change the angle, life is good. So I probably, yeah, I would get that. Uh, I would get that for sure. <laughs> I do like blind spot detection. That's fantastic. So that is, I guess we'll pick it up, pick it, and we'll see what we, how we would build our Mustang. Now the night Pot package, I think the Mustang actually Ford did a bang up job. The premium right off the bat looks great. I don't feel like I need to buy, you know, the night pony package or while well, the GT performance package for five grand, I don't, I already have, we already have an amazing look on the premium, mm-hmm. but G- Ford's, performance packages are worth the money. Uh, Brembo brake system with performance linings and black and white logo brake calipers, that is awesome. Uh, 
oh my goodness, you look through this, it has a K brace, it has performance raised rear wing, black painted strut tower, it's got, a, you know, the Torsen differential with 373. Okay, well, I would end up buying that, so that's pretty awesome. <laughs> upsized upsized rear yourself. sway bar. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the Mustang needs it, but you know what, how, you know how I like to press, press on the pedal at times? Yeah, that's for sure. And resale is the reason also we would buy a GT. For us, we change, I change vehicles often, yeah. and resale is unbelievably important, and resale is gonna be a lot better on a GT then an EcoBoost, even though yeah. the EcoBoost deserves better resale, it's 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 pretty great, good, it's very good, but GT resale is incredible. Right now yeah. I could sell my Mustang after having owned it for a year and I would lose $3,000. Not that big of a deal for an entire year of use. Mm -hmm. Part of that year was just looking at it in the garage because we have snow out here. But it was a beautiful decoration. Beautiful, it <laughs> the made garage. the garage, the garage could have been a dump, and with the Mustang there, I'm like, we have a beautiful, rich garage. <laughs> Look at our garage. People would actually, they put their beer when they come to visit us, they put the, the fridge, the beer fridge is in the garage, so they have to go look at the Mustang. People always come back with a smile like, you have that in the garage? Like, and like people just crap themselves basically. <laughs> and it's, it's cool, it's great. So I love the Mustang, would get the performance so we'll package. The for the winter, yeah. And resale is fantastic on GTs. So another reason why I'd go GT. And here's the part that's a little tough these days. That means you're gonna be paying $990 per month if you have a $5,500 down payment. So be careful. This little box here that I've highlighted, always go and delete there. Try to see what it's gonna, your payment's gonna look like with no down payment, $1,100. Woo. That's something folks, 72 months, 947. And if you lease it, there's no lease information, but I can tell you if you lease a Mustang normally at the end of the lease or even halfway through the lease, the Mustang is worth considerably more than your buyback price. I actually have a friend who's coming to see me and he's had his Mustang for a year and I think I'm gonna be able to buy it even after only a year on a four year lease. Sorry, a three year lease, I think he's gonna have a bit of positive equity and if he was on a four year lease, I bet he'd be break even. So. You know, actually, it's pretty funny. Friday coming back when I called to say, do you want me to pick up pizza? And you're like, I'm not gonna be home for supper. And I was like, oh, that's sad. Oh, well, it's fine. Right before calling you, I said, told the vehicle, call Marie. And they called him instead. So I said, oh, I meant to call my girlfriend. He's like, oh, well, that's okay. Because now that I've got you on the phone, what do you think if I change my Mustang? And we talked for like five minutes. It's like, okay, I'm gonna come change my Mustang Wednesday. <laughs> cool. <laughs> it's not always that easy, but uh, that's where it is. Okay, so folks, thank you so much for watching the show. Let's just finish up with how many thousands of dollars in case you're a ca cash buyer. Nowadays, in the past, you say, don't pay cash. You'll make more money investing in the stock market. Well, I only lose money in the stock market these days. That's got to switch one of these days because for the last two years, all I've done is lost money, lose money. That's true. We'll see when the market will uh, go up again. Yeah. We don't know when. And no, we do not. Uh, when I was actually off from forced closures, I actually quadrupled my money actually in the stock market because I was doing that eight all day, every day. And I quadrupled my money across, what was it, like three, four months. And then I didn't look at it and all I've, it's, it's all gone. It's all gone. Yeah, that's so sad. yeah, these days paying cash for a vehicle better than in the stock market, but at some point it, it'll have to start going back up, which is very, it's very tough timing when you're at the lowest of lows and when you should like jump, pun <laughs> punch, jump in or push in or punch a whole lot of money through into uh, different stocks. But Hey, we'll keep you updated on that. That's the show for tonight, folks. Thank you so much for watching. That Mustang came up to $55,505. I know, folks, that's a lot of money, but the Mustang is a whole lot more car than that price. Just like the Bronco is still more vehicle than price. A Bronco, that wild track is unbelievably expensive. $86,000 Canadian. But because it's so awesome, I think it's going to be worth it. Now, Lily has been part of this show because for the last two minutes, she's been <laughs> chewing on the pole and that's why the camera has been moving along around. So sorry, folks, <laughs> we wish you all more cars and more power. We got some poodles to take care of. Now, if you want to help us out, don't forget, feed and dress those poodles with 
a subscription. Hit that subscribe button. It is completely free. And if you do become a member while you're helping us long term all these vehicles, because we've got a Ford Mustang 2022 GT convertible premium 401 on long term review. We've got an F-150 Lightning. We've got a wild track coming up and we even have a Toyota MR2 that needs to be programmed, reprogrammed. The whole computing system needs to be programmed. It's still not running, but all sorts of parts should be coming into it this week. So thanks folks for helping this channel live and survive. We really appreciate you all. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. See you at All Train Nation later tonight. Wednesdays, you've got Driven Wild Outdoors. And Tuesdays, tomorrow night, of course, Tim Bartz. Love Tim Bartz. If you're looking for to buy a vehicle in the States, why not get it through Tim Bartz at Long MacArthur Ford? That's not a paid promotion. That's just me encouraging someone that I think is unbelievably knowledgeable and very honest and fair.